again friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy and I'm glad you decided to join me for this book video. I hope everybody is having an awesome January. The, if you cannot tell by the title of my video, I'm going to be sharing with you the books that I have in my TBR for the month of January. Um, and I'm going to be starting off by showing you the book that I am currently reading, and that is Gathering Shad I'm sorry, Gathering Darkness by Morgan Rhodes. And yes, I did take the book jacket off because um, when I read, it sometimes slips on and off, and it's just easier to read. Um, I'm about I'm on I'm on chapter in the middle of a chapter. Uh, I'm in the middle of chapter four. Um, if you don't know what this book is about, it's an uh, fantasy epic adventure, and it has so many awesome main characters, and they cross over from different kingdoms, and they intermix with each other, and it's just a fantastic epic adventure read. If you are looking for a good action um, betrayal quest type of story, I would highly recommend Gathering Darkness by Morgan Rhodes. And I believe this is the third book in the series called Falling Kingdoms. Um, following that, the next books are all books in my TBR. Um, and the first book I'd like to share with you is called Good Luck Charm by Helena Hunting. And Helena Hunting is one of my favorite romance authors. She just is an amazing author. She hits the nail on the head describing um, people and dialogue is fantastic. Um, it says, uh, if you don't know what this book is about, I will read it. It says, Lay isn't sure what hurts worse, the day Ethan left her to focus on his hockey career or the day he came back eight years later, he might think they can pick up where they left off. But she's no longer the same girl and never wants to be that way again. Um, Ethan wants his glory days back, and that includes having Leia by his side. With her, he was magic. They were magic. All he has to do is make her see that. Just when Leia, Leia might finally be ready to let Ethan in, though she finds out their reunion might have nothing to do with love, and everything to do with the improving game. But Ethan's already lost her once, and even if it costs him his career, he'll do anything to keep her, keep from losing her again. Um, so that is what it's about, it is a heart-filled, fun, romantic read, not that long. If you're looking for something different and new in the romance department, I would highly recommend this book. Um, the next book I picked to read is this chunker of a book, and it is a chunker. And that is The Complete Sherlock Holmes, The Complete Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Um, everybody knows what these books are about. It's a, about a famous detective in London with his trusty uh, co-worker Watson, uh, Dr. Watson, John Watson, and they have many adventures and mysteries and they solve a ton of murders and uh, whodunits and it is I think one of the awesome classics to read. Um, some of the stories, stories, some of the stories are very short so hopefully I will be flying through this. Um, is one of my favorite mystery stories to read. And if you've been watching, you know I generally don't like murder mysteries and that, but the way Sir Arthur Conan Doyle writes them, it's not about the blood and the gore and the gory details of the murder. It's more solving it. How did he do it and that sort of thing. So that is why I love this series. Um, and that is the next book I will be reading. Uh, following that is a different sort of book, and that is Mr. Darcy, Vampire by Amanda Grange. Um, this is a take, if you will, on 
Pride and Prejudice, but as but the main character, Mr. Darcy, is a vampire, and I believe, let me look, if it's, and it is taken from the perspective of Mr. Darcy, which is, I really refreshing, I'm actually not one, Pride and Prejudice is not one of my favorite Jane Austen books, but the way the author portrays it and writes it, it is enthralling, it's fun, it's, Something that I didn't expect I would like the first time I read it. All these books that I'm showing you, by the way, are all rereads. Um, so if you're kind of hesitant about reading uh, a take on Pride and Prejudice as a vampire, I would highly uh, say give it a try. It, again, is not about the necessarily Mr. Darcy being a vampire and his drinking of the blood or uh hunting down his victims so to speak it's more how he interacts with the world being a vampire in that time period um and the final book in my tbr is a fun uh fantasy realism story i guess you would call it um and that is the tenth kingdom and by Catherine wesley and uh, um, they turned it into a Hallmark miniseries. Um, it is about a ordinary girl, who, woman who lives in New York City with her dad. And they don't necessarily live the best life. They're kind of down on their luck. But through circumstances, um, they go on an epic uh, fantasy adventure. And there's... Um, through magic mirrors and a lot of awesome fairy tale epic um trials happen and they have to discover how to get back to their world and it is an awesome journey full of heart and humor and just good old fashioned action adventure and it'll have you laughing it's heartfelt it is one of my favorite um, types of stories to read. Um, so if you're interested, it's the Tenth Kingdom. They also made a mini series, and I also love the mini mini series. And I actually watched the mini series way, way long time ago before I bought this book. Um, so that's all the video for today. Um, I would like to update everybody. I just finished listening to, um. Charlotte's Web for an audiobook and it was fantastic. I loved it. Um, the next book I will be audiobooking is The Catcher and the Rye. Um, so I just wanted to update everybody on that. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big like, subscribe. Um, what are some of the books in your TBR, if you have any books in your TBR? Um, I'd love to hear, uh, I'd love you to share them with me. Um, again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see everybody soon in my next video. Bye-bye, everybody.